Okay, picking up. Uh, I've also booted up a, a reference uh, for this this thing, uh, so you can kind of see what I'm, how I'm going to make these um, um, these pieces right here. You'll want to create your own design. I mean, you can pull from reference by all means, but uh, yeah, you may want to uh, generate your own design, or you will definitely want to generate your own design. So uh, let me uh, tab back to uh, Z here, uh, and I can use my uh, see through. You know, to every now and then to kind of check up on myself. So uh, to do these um, these pieces here, I'm going to make my brush size quite a bit smaller, and then I'm going to uh, hold down Control because I want to you know want to do masking uh, on these, and I want to have uh, X symmetry on so that when I do one, I get the other. Now you're know, trying to get those things those kind of lines perfectly straight uh, with with this could be uh, fairly difficult. You could turn on, hold down control and go to stroke and lazy mouse and uh, turn that on and make a fairly large step here so that that can help with it. So you know as I draw out you see I get the little um, uh, red line there and then the stroke starts so and you'd want to take turn your steps uh, down uh, on that, but um, or not the steps, but the the smoothness um, or turn it up, make it make it uh, more smooth. Uh, but I'm going to take this back to the uh, default. Um, whoa, what happened there? Um, zero. Yeah, I'm just going to drag it down. There, close enough, and let's make sure that's an actual. Uh, so now, yeah, that should be about what it is normally. And uh, but come back to my uh, lazy mouse uh, settings here, and again, I'm I'm keeping control held down because you see, if I let go, it's it's a different animal. Um, so, uh, and then I'm going to turn on backtrack and snap to track and line, and what this will do. Uh, is what I will draw out and you see it gives me a, a little line piece uh, there and then when I wherever I stop it do not let go of the mouse button left uh, yeah uh, left mouse button uh, but then move it back along you see I can even pull my cursor out but it's always going to track along that path until I let go and so in that way, I can um, uh, you know, create these, um, these, these kind of beveled uh, pieces uh, on here. So let's see, I'm going to start probably somewhere right here. And you could use your grid as kind of a rough guide uh, for, for these. So let's try something like this where I then pull my stroke kind of to the middle. And then back and if it needs a little more you know kind of to the middle that's fine do that and you know let's just start from the inside out that might make a little more sense pull that just make sure I go all the way up kind of level with the other or at least close do that And if it needs a little touch up, then uh, just kind of come in. Um, uh, let's turn the um, let's turn the backtrack off and lazy mouse off, and then I can come in and you know, do a little fill uh, in there. Let's get zoomed in. Maybe make my brush size just a little bit smaller, just to make it a little easier. Yeah, and those look okay. This one may need a little bump out. Actually, I don't like the way that one, yeah, I don't like the way that one did that, so it sees off on it. Yeah, it looks a lot better. And then, oop. Just a 
just want it to look like it's rounded. All right. Um, and so once you get those on, then you can uh, let's see, let's invert the mask and get my move tool. And actually, yeah, it's still in place there. Uh, so let's come around and decide. Yeah, it's hard to see uh, these, so I can mouse around here in the yeah, turn off symmetry. And I still want to go straight down um, uh, with these things. So hold shift and yeah, push it in. And if if this is if you need this level of um, of beveling, then um, do that. Clear the mask, kind of mesh. Uh, then, you know, if you want that kind of defined edge uh, on that, then do that. Uh, or you could um, you blur it a little bit and then hold shift and Dynamesh. I think I liked it the other way, so let's undo that. And Shift and push that down, and now let's clear it, Dynamesh, and that looks pretty good. Um, that's actually no, I don't like. It's not quite deep enough. Probably just made it too deep. But, uh, that's all right. So once you get all these kind of details uh, done, you know the way you want. You could even do uh, something if you wanted to. Um, bring up a um so yeah just with my standard brush here let's uh do an alpha uh import and let's see let's look to where i might have some um yeah my little cortex label that's a good one um say i want to put some um of that on, let's see, yeah, with that, say, stamp down into it, uh, and I'm going to want to do that, um, let's see, with my alpha, so let's flip it horizontal, and probably want to take my Z intensity down a little bit. See, would that be right? Mm -hmm. oh. uh, let's see, let's uh, flip it vertically as well. No, that's that's right reading from that side. Uh, actually, it might have been correct uh, without it flipped. Uh, no, no, that's only correct looking at it this way. Actually, let me just knock the top off of this thing, and I'll do it. Um, I'll do it from the from the top. Um, so. Um, to do that, I'm going to uh, hold Control Shift, and instead of my clip curve, I'm going to get my um, slice curve uh, here and turn on polyframe. And I'm just going to cut across where I want the uh, top edge of all this uh, to be. So uh, keep it horizontal. Maybe drop it down just where everything starts to turn, and do that. And that makes that a uh, separate uh, poly group. Uh, up there, and again, let's see. Looks like I'm getting okay. That all looks pretty good. Uh, just want to make sure I don't have any kind of bump outs. So that one might be a problem, but should might might be okay. Um, and then uh, Control Shift click that guy to hide that, and then come over to Modify Topology and Delete Hidden, and then to work on this thing from the top, uh, we'll come down to display properties and turn on double-sided so I can yeah now I can look down on it
And let's uh, turn polyframe off. And let's see, let's turn the floor off just a second. Now let's see what we're getting here. Okay, that's looking good, but it's, let's see, is it bumping up? That's actually, yeah, that's that's probably the way I want it, because if I push down, yeah, it's going to uh, um, go too far down in there. So let's leave it up, and let's turn the strength down. Um, let's try that. Roughly centered. Yeah, let's do that. And then dynamo Ooh, forgot about dynameshing wanting to go over the top. And it also looks like it smoothed that. Let's see, let me make sure I've got what my settings are. Yeah, I've got polish. Let's turn project on just in case. And I may want to take my blur down uh, to zero uh, on this one. See, still a little, yeah, it's really not keeping that. I don't know why it defaults to turning the double off. It's kind of annoying. Um, I may need to do this later, uh, but whoop, um, that really is annoying. Yeah, yeah, I'll just pick that up later. Um, but now with this thing still um, edged uh, like that, um, I'm going to uh, come to my uh, brush here and switch to a curve tube brush and make sure my brush size is pretty small. I may have to make it even smaller. And uh, let's see, under stroke, uh, curve functions, see this frame mesh down here. I just want to leave uh, border uh, on. So uh, with frame mesh, I can do that and you see it makes this frame around it. And now with this tiny brush size, uh, you click on it to add that kind of lip to it. Um, that's still a little big, so uh, let me make my brush size uh, a little bit smaller. Let's try some eight or six. Let's click it and uh, that's probably a little too small. Uh, so let's make it a little bit bigger. I'll try 10. There we go. That looks great. Make that edge. And uh, let's turn polyframe back on. You can see that's a separate polyframe. So to get that to get that um, out as a separate subtool, I want to come up to um, subtool uh, here and under split, use group split and split that out. You see now it, that makes a, uh, a separate uh, poly mesh uh, or a separate subtool for that. And now to get, in fact, let's hide that. And now to get the um, get some thickness uh, on this, I want to use um, poly uh, panel loops rather. So uh, let's go to edge loop, and you'll want to check the thickness on here. Um, you know, because this is what's going to be the uh, thickness uh, of this thing. So, um, let me run that, and I think you know you'll need double uh, on. So let me run that, and see what we get. And that's yeah, that's that's. You don't want it too thick, um, but if you needed to make make it a little bit thicker than that, then just turn the thickness up. And you can also uh, turn you know, uh, how much polish uh, you, you want on and uh, which way you want the elevation to go. Because let's see, let's undo that. So it's kind of pushing everything out. So that, that's okay. I don't think this thing is so thin. I don't think it's going to be a, a big issue. So uh, let me stop the video here and I'll pick it up uh, in the next one.